can fasting and what you eat uh, somehow improve uh, the receptiveness and sensitivity of your body to radiotherapy for cancer? That was the topic of a, a systematic review um, by Philip Icard and, and colleagues. Uh, the authors analyzed the data from 26 original papers, and they were looking at the effect of fasting, caloric restriction, and different diets on the sensitivity to radiotherapy, how the, tumor, how the, how the tumors were responding to radiotherapy. And what they found out was pretty astonishing. Uh, so radiotherapy uh, is a treatment for different kinds of cancer. Uh, for example, for breast cancer, but also for liver or, or lung cancer, for brain tumors and other kinds of cancer. Uh, how does it work? Uh, well, uh, you irradiate a certain, um, um, a certain location, uh, you target it with radiation and uh, the cancer cells eventually die because of the disruption of DNA. Uh, radiotherapy increases oxidative stress um, in, in, and that's how the, the DNA of the cancer cells get da gets damaged. Uh, now, uh, if you fast, then fasting uh, or caloric restriction, if you just um, eat less, um, if you eat a lot of vegetables that are less uh, calorically dense, um, then this will increase the sensitivity to radiotherapy, most probably because uh, nutrition restriction enhances the hydrogen peroxide um, production and uh, promotes oxidative stress uh, in the cancer cells. And again, uh, the DNA of the cancer cells gets damaged even further and the cancer cells die. So in conclusion, fasting and caloric restriction are um, powerful ways how to improve tumor response to radiation. So if you suffer from cancer and need to undergo radiotherapy, fasting and a plant-based diet with uh, foods that are low in energy density are powerful ways how to boost your immune system and uh, increase the efficiency of, radio, of radiotherapy. Uh, thank you so much for, for watching.